Hi, this is Kathy Astor, product owner for the Digital Library of the Middle East Worksycle. And we are going to be demoing um, sprint number two. And I will turn it over to Jesse Keck and Camille Vila. Hello. I'd like to demo just a couple of the features that we've worked on this sprint. Uh, the first one that I'd like to point out uh, is some work that we've done around the block light date range slider gem. Uh, I will also point out that uh, something that we've done is we've got two different date assets here. So you can see we have um, two different calendaring systems, the date slider for the Hindry calendar system, um, as well as date range for the Gregorian um, calendar system. So we've um, translated all the dates that we have so that we have them in both date systems. Um, for the purposes of this demo, I'll just go ahead and show um, what we've done uh, in the Gregorian date range facet. A lot of the work uh, went into this is to update and, and do some regular maintenance on this gem. This is a gem that we use uh, in various uh, of our spotlight or blacklight applications. Um, so this is something that we use in various places, but hasn't necessarily uh, gone through regular um, updates and maintenance. So one of the prerequisites to doing some of this work and some of these enhancements that we wanted to was to get that more up to date. Um, so some work had gone into that. Um, also uh, did a, a updated to the latest version of the library that drives this bar chart visualization called FLOT. Um, so we're now updated to the latest Fordado version of that. Um, some work went in to internationalize the UI for this uh, for this facet so that while, when we do have this in DLME and we do have all of our translations and we switch languages, um, we will be able to appropriately translate the UI for, uh, for this facet. We've also added the ability to uh, click this view larger link and then pull the uh, content of the date slider into a larger view up into a modal um, that you are then you know, able to interact with and do the kind of same behavior that you would do with in the, the uh, smaller version. Uh, in addition to that, some of the elements in the date range slider have been reordered um, in response to uh, feedback. And I'll just kind of show that you know, now I'm able to kind of go click in and limit my search like we normally would uh, on this, uh, this date uh, range. One of the things that was also important that was an issue with the date range slider before this work had happened is it didn't work with negative dates. And now this, since that is something that we are dealing with with the content in uh, the DLME site, um, that was an important uh, a fix that we are able to, to um, enable here. Also wanted to call out that we've rolled out the um, updates from uh, our work so far over to the uh, various uh, application instances that we have in our various environments. So previously we were just working and deploying out regularly to dev, um, but we now have uh, more modern versions from uh, up to date with our work in both um, production uh, and our stage environments. Um, so as you can see, the, the data is different, but um, we've now been able to update these with, uh, with our latest work. We did some work to uh, debug some of our Google Analytics API access. Uh, we talked previously about getting work to get ourselves access to the data itself. Um, Spotlight has this analytics dashboard that's available to administrators that they can go to see um, some some data like this, and that wasn't working. Um, so we did we were able to uh, address, figure out why that was happening, and actually address a bug upstream in Spotlight um, to fix the uh, that occurring for other people who had Google Analytics accounts set up similar to the way that we have our DLME uh, analytics accounts set up. So um, that has been addressed, and this will also be a prerequisite uh, potentially for future work in pulling user and ed, uh, analytics data potentially into the statics, the statistics dashboard, um, again, which may potentially happen in the future. Um, but now this opens up the possibility to work on that. 
I'd like to now hand it over to Camille. This last sprint, we were able to address some issues uh, with our uh, Docker files and deployment. Uh, so now you can upload an image to the masthead, and that work should work as expected. Save the changes, and ta-da, we have a masthead. Um, aside from that, uh, we have done some work on uh, image viewers. So institutions that have uh, IIIF manifests available. Uh, so in this example, I have uh, items from the Bodleian. Uh, so on the record page, you will now see uh, an interactive Mirador 3 viewer. So users can page through, uh, look at uh, metadata and use all of these fun IIIF features. Um, I think that is it for our Sprint 2 demo. See you next time.